everybody, Wayne here. In today's recon, I'm going to unbag Velikia Luki, Stalingrad of the North, designed by Michael Taylor and published by Legion War Games. All right, so Velikia Luki, Stalingrad of the North, is, as of me recording this, a brand new, the first game in a brand new system by Michael Taylor of smaller hex encounter war games. Traditional rules, traditional maps, but smaller, quicker playing, less rules overhead, etc. Um, so Stalingrad of the North, November 1942 to February 1943. This is uh, topic Eastern Front. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be interested in this. Um, perfect cover, by the way. I really, really like that cover. Um, here you have, look at this back of the, this is the rule book in the folio here. You have, look at this beautiful old school CRT. Roll a 1D6. That's right, a 1D6, folks. Oh, man, look at that. And then the old, uh, looks like Russian, Russian map of the area here. So let's open her up. But yeah, as soon as I saw this one um, announced by Randy over at Legion War Games, I said, you know what? I gotta check this out, guys. Um, you know, uh, when it comes to Hex Encounter War games, ah, there's so many that I love, but when it comes to the bigger maps, especially multi maps and hundreds of counters and all this stuff, it's too much for me. It really is. It's just not the time and reason. It's just it's not worth it to me um, for the most part to get into. Um, but I love a smaller one. So let's check it out here. All right, so we have that cover. Nothing on the back side. We have a train effects chart. Nothing on the back side. Cardstock, decent thickness cardstock actually. Um, but you can see the actual, looks like terrain key. Oh, beautiful. I like the fact that it's actually text. Okay, this is what the terrain is. The movement cost and a combat effect. In addition, it's actually, and there's actually a picture of it, right? So it's not just describing it and you're kept trying to maybe guess. Here's the actual picture of it. And you take a look at that as usual. Um, I film in 4K. So if you want to pause, you should get a really nice image. Make sure you select um, that you're watching the video in 4K as well, by the way. So we have our units here, unit types, traditional um, NATO um, symbology, unit colors. I like that it explains it right there. Victory point looks like, yep. So how you get the victory points, the two uh, towns or cities, each single objective hex. I don't know what that is. And then Russian and German um, step losses or... Russian step loss, German unit loss. And then the units here telling you, okay, when does it enter? You know, combat strength, movement allowance. Again, very traditional hex encounter style. All right. Map last, as usual. Counters. Ooh, I'm gonna look at those. Well, let's let's look at the rule book first. So full color rule book here. It is, what is this? Probably six pages of rules, eight pages overall. That's a guess. That's a guess. Oh, and then that's that back, remember? Dun dun dun. It is. Seven, can't tell if I got it or not. Yeah, it is seven pages overall. Um, obviously you have the Veliki uh, Luki campaign setup here. Um, oh, look at that, look at that old school, my old school setup. I love it. Oh, you do get to pick though. Look, any hex between the Lavat and Cunha rivers, south of Velikopol, Velikopol. Yeah, I'm sure I'm butchering that. That's all right, it happens. Um, so you actually do get to kind of pick. It's not just straight, okay, find this random hex. Nice. All right, so it looks like the actual rules go to something like six pages. So six pages of rules. Here you get a description of what's going on in the battle, what led up to it, what happens in the battle historically. So it's an 11 by 17 map, nice modest size map, 64 counters. Love that, love that, absolutely. Players must provide their own one six-sided die. Where... Am I gonna find an extra six-sided die? Anyway, sorry for that aside. Let's get back to it. I know you guys are like, what are you, what are you gonna show off all your dice collection? That's not all of them, trust me. Anyway, we got pictures, full color. The text is nice and big. Again, if you wanna pause it and get a good idea of what you're seeing here. As usual with my recons, I'm unbagging, I'm looking at the game. I am not teaching it. I am not trying to learn it by <laughs> on camera here. I learn off camera and then try to teach it to people on uh, on camera, um, sometimes more successfully than other times. Everything looks pretty clear, pretty easy to read. Again, I think it's going to be a really standard um, Hex Encounter style war game. So, yeah, and we are, we're done with the rules. <laughs> that was it, that was it, man. That was it for the rules. So, awesome. 
Okay, what do we got here? Let's look at the counters and then we'll pull the map out here. So we have, what will this be? Like a third of a counter sheet, like same counter sheet, the lengthwise edge, but then like, I don't even know, that's a half, maybe a half, half or a third, something like that. Anyway, um, take a look at them here. Design and artwork by Michael Taylor. Get our uh, Soviet or Russian. We'll look at that. And again, pausing so you guys can pause if you want. Numbers are nice and big. Look, like they're gonna be super easy to read. Double sided, I imagine. Yep. So some of them, right, are not gonna have a backside. Some of the units will. Again, there's the different colors, different types of units here. Let's check for, dun dun dun, popping them out here. Okay, so they are, they're in here. Oh, okay. You always wanna be careful, right? Some counters, right? Like, you know, they're gonna tear, some are not. You just never know what you're gonna get nowadays. But these, as I tear, literally tear them out of here, it, there we go. That shows you, look at this. You're gonna be, boom, do the little bendy bend, right? Do the bendy bend. That's what I like to call it. It's very official. Um, so look at the thickness of them. Decent thickness, um, white core. Although I feel like they're thicker than some white core I've seen. So they may be a little different than what I, when I say white core, don't think thin. They're actually, they're actually nice and sturdy here. So good size. I may still end up rounding the corners, but you know me guys, that's just what I like to do with these, these types of games. So but yeah, popping out nice and easy, baby. So, all right, let's uh, check out this map. All right, so it is on thick card stocks. This is not like a, you know, like a paper, thinner paper map. Um, this is definitely, this is like the map is printed on card stock, which I may be able to just, I don't even have to use Plexi at all. Oh, boom, there you go. Um, so obviously, yeah, one single-sided here, but boom, we don't even have to use Plexi or anything like that. I literally just backfolded just a little bit and laying flat. Valika Luki, Stalingrad of the North up here. Map graphics by Randy Lean. Thank you, Randy. Game design, Michael Taylor. Thank you, Michael. Better turn track with reinforcements on there. Um, I don't know if those are reinforcements or maybe points you can spend. Replacement points, maybe. The lost track. Um, German limited units. Russian limited units. CRTs on here. So in addition to the back of here, it's actually also on the map, which is really nice. And the key to it, explaining exactly what it does. And you have your... And let me get the map a little closer so you guys can see it as well. Very simple, easy to read, not super flashy, right? Not gonna win most beautiful War Game of the Year award at the Charlies, but looks like it's gonna be easy to read, easy, easy to tell, um, you know, what's going on from hex to hex when you start, especially when you start getting into combat, right? Maneuvering your units. So Russians are coming in from the east. Maliki Luki here. You have um Novoskonki. Again, I'm sure I butchered that. My apologies. Um, Germans coming in here. Oh, yeah. When I, if I do a playthrough of this on video, you guys are going to love my pronunciations, all these names. Maybe I'll just say that town over here and then the main town, and that's what I'll do. But let's see what they look like on here before we wrap it up. Ooh, not bad. I like that the oversized hexes or, you know, plenty large that the counters fit entirely inside the hex. Um, I believe the stacking is up to three units, unless it's a division, and then only one division, possibly. Um, don't quote me on that, though. So, all right. Valika, Valiki, Valikia, Valikia Luki. Excuse me. Valikia Luki. Stalingrad of the North. I think I did okay on the pronunciation of the, the main town. Valikia Luki. Again, if you uh, speak Russian or you really know how to pronounce it, don't make too much fun of me. Hope you enjoyed this recon, this look at this game. I'm definitely excited to check it out. Like I said, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I got to pick this one up. Um, I will have videos on this for sure. I'm going to be punching these counters, probably clipping them, and then I will be playing and I will have some videos on the game. So let me know what you think of this game and you think of my video in the comments below. And of course, as always, if you've made it this far and you're not a subscriber, I would sure appreciate it. First subscription's free. Go ahead and click that little button. Um, I would sure appreciate it. So until next time, everybody, later.